YouTube, what is up with y'all tonight? This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail, coming through with another sneaker pickup. Now this one is basically late. Um, where as far as like if you want to get it like new release or whatever. But me, y'all know me, I wait for the deals and all that stuff, man. So, you know, I'm not I usually just wait and um to the sneaker go on sale and uh Basically, that's what had happened, and uh, I ended up snagging these for a deal, and I got them from Nike.com, and to be honest, because I already titled the video this, y'all already know what it is, though, but, um, damn, they don't even got the price on here. All right, but... It's like one, th yeah, that's what it was. One thirty-eight after shipping the tax, but what you know, as you might know, um, if you are a Nike member, a Nike Plus member or whatever, you can get the free shipping. So, did all that. So, a little on un one forty, a little under one forty, and this is the Jordan International pack. And uh, this was my my favorite pair out of the pack. My favorite sneaker got mine in a size ten and just jump right into it and that is these joints right here now wait I, I know it's a lot of people you know that was definitely clamoring and, and all over that Jordan 12 I know I had the new buck and the suede with the designs in the on the like embroidered in or whatever or engraved or whatever but to me these really stuck out to me man like you know um ah uh, Oh man, sneezing. <laughs> okay, but yeah, these really stuck out to me. And um these uh so I end up copping, man. I was just looking back there because I was trying to see if I can see my obsidian twelves, but I don't feel like looking for them right now. Um Yeah. My obsidian twelves buried back there, I think. Never mind. You know what? We might be in luck. We might be in luck tonight. I'm about to call y'all Facebook. We might be in luck tonight, YouTube. So I'm going to snatch up my Obsidian 12s as well. And hopefully, y'all know I'm doing Jenga back here with my uh, boxes. But, you know, I, it's been so much going on as far as me, like, trying to get racks. So, but anyway, um, just overall, y'all already probably already know about this sneaker anyway and you know probably people enough people probably already did a review on it this is just my thoughts on it my you know why i think that you know the um the only reason why the jordan 12 international wasn't too much of a hit with me um i feel like the jordan 12 falls number two like this one jordan 12 number two and then the number three is the jordan three the international jordan three so and the international jordan three it's just too much of a mixture of a true blue three and then a fire red three it's not really terrible but like if the price was like seventy dollars or eighty dollars like if it was just something so low that it was like it fall into my lap then i might cop but i'm not really harping all on it because again a true blue three meets a fire red three that's what kind of it looks like but anyway you never really see too many J's and like that blue and orange like that nyx like colorway or sometimes like that this is what kind of reminds me of the old 90s Cavs Cleveland Cavaliers like colorway I remember they came out with the Jordan 4 Cavalier joints years ago and uh, even some people was even calling those the Nick uh, 4's and all that but they was really the Cav 4's now even though these are international I did see Jordan Jersey they got a few old pictures or whatever on Google just go Google it man look it up and he has on like the orange and blue jersey um as far as the print right here uh it's not really a deal breaker but you know even if they would have used like a all white or something right here or you know a orange or a royal blue you know um it have been okay but uh my favorite thing i actually like on this sneaker is how the black is down here and then you also have the hints of orange right there kind of remind me of like of an orange pop and uh or soda and um yeah definitely fire and flames i'm surprised they didn't make the air bubble either royal blue or orange or anything i'm surprised it's just like just cloudy white and i was surprised to see that these are not all white laces like these are kind of like 
sail in a way, like a sail like colorway. Um, even the leather on here is like, it's not even completely white. It's more along the lines of like a sail. Okay, sail, racer, blue, cone, and black. So, you know, um, I feel like this is just different. Um, I know not too many people, fans of sail, this one was kind of either or. Like, yeah, uh, white would have looked a little bit more cleaner. You know what I mean? But uh, with this sail colorway, it's okay. Um, not really a deal breaker. I noticed that it's just like, um, this is the first Jordan 5 I've really seen that has tumble leather throughout the whole sneaker. Unless like, um, at least this, like, this is the first one I have as far as like a Jordan 5 that has tumble leather throughout the whole sneaker. The Laney 5s had that pebble tumble leather throughout the whole sneaker as well. The last time they dropped. It might have been 2013 when the Laney 5s dropped. And you know, and I also seen the reverse ones coming out for for 2019. And as far as a fan favorite, I, at this point in time, the OG in me still saying, you know, the white, the all predominantly white Laney with the blue and stuff, those still look better. I, you know, the new ones still haven't sunk in yet. Um, also, too, man, another thing too, are y'all over retro plus colorways? I mean, at this point. We kind of just gave, giving in. Back when I was collecting a little bit earlier, like years ago, I always was just on that, like, just give me the OG. I don't want no Retro Plus colorways. But now, you know, it's just been beaten into us so much that this is such a lifestyle sneaker. And we already knew this was a lifestyle sneaker, but that wasn't the best colorways that was coming out too much as far as Retro Plus colorways in the 2010s. And uh, meaning like 2010s all the way up. Now, that second run of colorways throughout the 2000s wasn't too bad. <clears throat> Excuse me, wasn't too bad. Like you had the um, the um, the damn uh, the all gray uh, Jordan fives. Uh, well, that might have been 2012. My bad, 2011, 2010. Oh wait, no, no, I take that back. It might be 08, 09. The all gray twelves came out. Then you had the burgundy fives, twelves, not uh, gray. I'm talking about uh, the fives, uh, the all gray fives, the burgundy fives. The olive green fives that look like the undefeated colorway. Like, so it's, it's so many more other colorways. Um, I can't wait till they come go through that second generation of colorways where the 9 OG colorways, they just put them back out. Um, we just recently seen that with the Mocha 3. So, you know, um, that's just a good example. Hopefully, if the Retro Plus colorway actually have enough hype on it, they can bring it back just like the Mocha 3s. I'm surprised they even brought them joints back. And I still got to get me a pair of Mocha 3s. So, I'm going to get these Jordan 12s out for you guys. <clears throat> Just to show a quick comparison, so that takes skill. Hopefully, you know, when I, so all the boxes just won't fall. But uh, here we go right here. This is the Obsidian 12 from 2012. So, yeah. Um, to me, that's why it was kind of pointless to get the, the Jordan 12 uh, International. Because it just kind of reminds me of this. Um, again, it's not ugly. Um, it's better than most Retro Plus colorways, but... If you already got the Obsidian 12, um, it's basically kind of like pointless to even get it. Unless you just really, really like that sneaker. But um, out of that pack, though, I found myself being a more... This just a... I like, man, I, I like kicks, so, you know, this is what I do. Some of the guys, not some, but it was a few, a guy or two hating. Oh, you know... You just want to show the kick or whatever. Number one, I'm showing it for comparison and just to prove my point. You know what I mean? Like, listen, man, like, this ain't, this, this is the actual sneaker channel. Like, I know my subs obviously know it. Thanks for looking, too. Thanks for watching. But I know I get them drive-by users that's kind of dumb in the head. Um, You know, uh, that, that just, uh, anyway. But, yeah, so, um. What's the point of getting the International 12s if you already have these? That was just my thinking with it. Um, 
and, and again, I just felt like these personally, and, and, and to be honest, like, it's, it's a small minority of people, because since everybody Jordan 12 crazy, especially for the international joints, um, it's just a small minority of people that's actually crazy about this one. I've seen in the comments, a lot of the other people was kind of like dissing these, and they was really dissing the Jordan 3s, uh, but... Hey man, it is what it is. Uh, that'd have been neat to see them put this colorway on, like the Jordan Three. I can't wait to see what the Knicks like colorway next year, or or 2019 gonna look as far as the Jordan Threes. I'm probably speaking in the future, but you know the, what the the 2019 Jordan Three is gonna look like the Nick colorway. Definitely fly, definitely flame. So this video went on long enough, man. It's not really too much to say. Let me let you know. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys even cop anything from the international pack out of the three? You know, did you like any of them? Uh, did you like this one? Did you like the Jordan 12 or did you like the Jordan 3 international? Um, you know, so uh, do you feel like how I feel? Do, I'm, or, or did I bring some new light to you? Um, I know some guys just started a few years ago. Like this sneaker dropped again, 2012. So, you know, man, we looking at... Shoot, man, about to be almost close near a decade since the sneaker dropped because 2022 is a, is, is a lot closer than 2012 was. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised they dropped this soon. Um, but even to me, back in the day when these dropped the OG joints, I wasn't the biggest fan of this. And this one, uh, when uh, early, this was in 2012 when I was actually reselling sneakers at the time. So I actually had like four or five pairs of these and uh, just had my own pair as well so I was actually about to sell this pair back then but it's until um, I actually tried them on and you know I got addicted it's like man you would be against a Jordan until you try that one foot as soon as you try that one foot it'd be hard as hell to take these you know what I mean it'd be hard as hell to take them off so these grew on me but back in the day like 98 99 or whatever when these came out 97 98 um, I was not on these. I wanted. To, I was just only on the flu games, the taxis, the cherries, and the playoffs. And then it was these. So, yeah, it's just crazy. So, to be quite honest with you, I just need the cherry twelves to complete my, complete my little OG collection. You know what I mean? So, rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Nail Goodfella. Goodfella Nail coming through with. Another sneaker opinion, another sneaker discussion. Did you guys cop the international pack? Uh, hey, man. This is what I do. Peace.